What's going on guys, my name is Jack and welcome to another video. If you don't know me, I am a photographer and videographer based in the UK and this channel is mostly about camera reviews, tips, tricks and stuff like that. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Camera Raw's Super Resolution, a really exciting feature that's soon going to be rolled out to Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. So what is Super Resolution? Well, it's basically an option in Camera Raw that enables you to quadruple the resolution of your images. So if you have a 20 megapixel photo, this will enhance it to 80 megapixels. Obviously, this is not some kind of miracle megapixel generator. There are going to be some compromises, but in general, from my experience, it looks really great. So let's head into Camera Raw and see how this works. So right now we are in Camera Raw and here is a photo of Benji that I took a couple of weeks ago. This is on the a7 III, so a 24 megapixel sensor. Now the composition on this definitely isn't the best, so let's crop into what I think would be a better composition. So now we have a much better composition on this image, kind of centering Benji in the middle. But as you'll notice, this image is now only 11.4 megapixels. We've lost a lot of the resolution by cropping in. So this is where super resolution comes into play because we can now quadruple the resolution of this image. And to do that, all you need to do is right click on the image and click on enhance. You'll get these options to do super resolution and the raw details. I just leave both of these checked. And then all you do is click enhance and camera raw will do its thing. And then we get a quadrupled image. So this is now 45 megapixels, which is kind of crazy to think that that's just been done in a, you know, a really quick button press. So I'm now zoomed into this super resolution image at 150%, but let's go back to the other file and do a similar kind of zoom. And you can see here that we're really losing resolution and quality around Benji's eyes. His face is quite soft. I wouldn't say it's blurry, but it's definitely not that sharp. But let's go back to the super resolution and you can see here that it's definitely a lot sharper. This is really impressive actually. I, I didn't expect this feature to be quite as good. And this sort of impressed me when I tried this out the other day. Now the first thing you might notice is the chromatic aberration. You can see a lot of green and purple hues on his face. So to fix that, it's really quite simple. You just go down to the optics options in Lightroom, go to defringe and just turn up the purple and green amount. And you can see already that that's pretty much fixed it. There's still a lot of green and uh, you might need to just adjust the sliders a little bit to, to get rid of that. And there we go. Look how much better that looks already. So let's open up another file and see how well this works on a different image. So here is a bird photo taken on the Panasonic GH5. Now the GH5 already is only 20 megapixels. And if you want to crop in on that, you're going to lose a lot of the resolution. This definitely isn't the best photo I've ever taken. It's a bit overexposed. Composition is all over the place, but uh, let's just see how this super resolution works for this photo. So let's just first crop in to what would be a better composition. So this is probably a nicer composition. Again, it's not the best, but it's definitely better than the way it was. But you can see here that now the resolution is only 7.3 megapixels. If you were to print this out, you definitely lose quality at larger sizes. So this is where super resolution again is going to come in really handy. So let's right click, do the same thing, enhance, press OK. And in just a few seconds, we now have a 29 megapixel photo. Similar to the previous image, you do get a bit of chromatic aberration that's kind of exaggerated with this. So we can just go down to our optics again and remove that. And already that looks a lot better on the feathers and various different details. So currently at 100% on this image, and you can see that you do retain a lot of details in you know, the bird's face, the eye, it seems very sharp. The feathers as well, there's a lot of detail. If we go back to the other image and you and you zoom in, you can see how you know low resolution and blurry that actually is. And hopefully, you know, this will be conveyed well in this video. So that's Adobe Camera Raw's super resolution. I think it's a really brilliant option for photographers, especially if you're someone who likes to crop in. Another use for this actually, and I forgot to mention this earlier, but another use for this would be taking old images that were shot on, you know, older cameras that you owned that are lower resolution and upscaling them if you wanted to print or display them. So how do you guys think you'll use super resolution? Feel free to let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And if you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.